Hi, my name is Mitesh Surajam. I'm a senior software developer. I'm working with the various Microsoft technology. I have experience in C Sharp, WPF, HP.NET, SQL Server, SSI, SSRS. So, so in this video, today I'm going to demonstrate how we create a simple SSIS package using the SQL Server Import Expert Wizard. So, uh, to ensure that SSI is installed, you can check whether um, from the start menu you can click the SQL Server. You can check whether the Business Intelligence Development Studio is installed or not. You can uh, you can also check whether the services for the install integration services also installed. You can type the services to MSC. You can it will open that services dialog. Here you can check. Uh, SQL Server integration services is installed or not so and it must be started before you start uh, working with the integration services so this way you can check um, to open the import export dialog you can right click on the database which you want to um, from which you want to copy data to another thing another source or maybe you want to import data from another source so you can right click on the database you can click on the task you can say the import or export data whatever the task you want you can perform from here this will open the export dialog similarly similar thing you can open from here as well like start click um, start microsoft sql server 2008 you can click on the import export data so this will i'll prefer to go with this uh, sql server 2008 uh, right click on that uh, click on the task say the export data it will open the uh, dialog wizard so uh, this is the welcome screen you can say the next here you have multiple options from which database you want to uh, which data source you want to select as a source so here you may uh, you can have multiple options like flat file you can copy data from flat file to any other data source you can copy data from access excel you can select the oracle or LEDB provider so whatever the task you want you can so we continue with the sql server native client so here you can select the server name sql server 2008 uh, i have preferred to i am going with uh, use windows authentication for the authentication you can select the which database you want to export data from so i'm going with the adventure works which, which easily can be downloaded from the microsoft download uh, click on the next it will ask for the destination so you can select the, any of the destination um, you have multiple options for the destination like flat file microsoft access microsoft excel oracle so here you can so here i'm going to select the flat file destination so for flat file you need to provide the location so i'm going to provide i'm going to create one simple text file um, currency list so i created this file under dtap ssis folder so i'm going to select this file first and click in the ok so i have an option for the format like which uh, kind of which which type of format i want to prefer for that flat file so i can select the delimited fixed width or like the right so you can select that uh, format you can specify the column name if you want uh, the column names to be displayed on the flat file at the first row you can select this checkbox now you can say the next here you have option like you, you copy data from one or more tables or views or you can write your own query to specify like how you're going to get the data from the tables so i'm going with the first option and copy data from one one or multiple table so now it ask for me ask me to select the table from which table i want to select data so i'm going to select the currency table available in sales currency uh, I'm, I'm going to specify that row delimiter a delimiter is like uh, how you delimit uh, two rows so i'm fine with the crlf which will uh, add a new line once uh, a new line between the two rows so for column i'm going with the comma separated i can use this colon semicolon whatever vertical bar tab so i'm fine with uh, comma as well so you can have option to map the colon so you can uh, you can select edit mappings you can click on the edit mappings so for example uh, the currency table sales currency table has uh, three column name uh, three column currency code and name and modified date and destination also the flat file they're going to create the three column but 
I don't want to create a uh, one column name to modify that. I don't want that. I need I want only currency code and name. So I can I say select ignore. So it will not uh, copy modified date to the destination file. So click on the OK. Now you can see the preview. So here it will display the modified file, modified date, but when you say when you when you are executing this package at that time it will not copy that modified date so this is the data from the sales currency table nothing else so it just says select star from sales currency so here you can see the data that source table click on the next here you have an option to save the ssis package so it one checkbox is the run immediately once you say the finish it will run immediately that package you can um, also create that package in a file system so you can create that particular um, SSI package file um, and you can save somewhere in your local hard drive um, the pro uh, option you can um, protection option you can select encrypt sensitive double user key or password or if you select do not save sensitive data and save the next so here it will ask for where you want to save this file so I will say that I want to save this file over here I am going to write this name uh, currency package. Currency package. Okay. So I am going to create this file in DTM SSI location. So, so click on the next. So this will. Uh, so this is a summary window. Like uh, it will display like whatever the option you have chosen from that uh, uh, visa. So source location would be this server 2000 SQL server 2008 provider sql native client and uh, you can uh, copy rows from sales currency table to d colon temp whatever the flat file location i have mentioned the wizard it is showing me um, it also says the package name currency package dtsx dtsx is the extension for the uh, ssis app package so uh, when you say the finish it will run this package so this is executing this package now it says that one zero file has been transferred to the currency list table so here you have a report option you can see the report in detailed report like you can export that report as well save report to file or copy to clipboard or send report, send to as an email so there are multiple options available so you say that close window now uh, we want to see that see here we have a c temp ssi location where we, we can open this um, flat file txt file here we can see that first two name the first row is uh, uh, displaying the um, column names currency code and name and currency code is aed for emirati dirham and multiple currencies has been listed so zero five right so here also you can see that one package is also created you can edit this package it will open that microsoft visual studio and uh, it opens in a designer mode so you can see like it uh, yeah so this is this designs design mode for the uh, ssis package so uh, there are four types available a control flow data flow uh, event handlers and package explorer so i'll go in detail with this uh, uh, tabs in my letter post so first of all first of all like uh, we can uh, this separate package has created the data flow task so you can say that multiple tasks you can select a drag and drop to the control flow so here from um, the sql server automatically created one task for us so it drag it choose for data flow task so data flow task is there and when you double click on the data flow it moves us to the data flow tab here you can select the source and destination uh, so source is the OLEDB source and you can say the destination is a flat file so for that source and destination SQL server has connected created one two connection manager as well destination flat file connection and SQL connection OLEDB so this way you can um, create the simple you can drag and create your own package as well like you can set a file new and project uh, it will ask, uh, select the business intelligence project selects integration services so, okay so it will create so you can create your own sql server packages so thanks for listening hope you like this uh, video thanks